Taurus, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for the month of June. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Taurus, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge for the month of June, Taurus, is the moon. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands upright. Okay, so Taurus, uh, your challenge for June is the moon. I do feel with the moon here for many of you, there's something here about emotions. There's something here about secrecy. There's something here about feeling one way, but then presenting yourself another way. Uh, and that may be part of your challenge, right? Getting really in touch with how you feel about things. How do you really feel about certain things and certain situations in your life? And there may actually be something, you know, within your emotions that you're learning here you know, this coming month. So we're going to clarify the moon and see why it's your challenge for June in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Seven of Swords in reverse. You have the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So in the recent past, I do strongly feel that you caught someone doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing. I do feel like you were dealing with maybe someone who was very on and off or in and out of your life. They may have not been giving you the attention that you needed, or they may have not been giving you the um, you know, the honesty that you needed. And that may be why your challenge here is the moon. I do feel you are the king of pentacles here in the recent past. So we're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Page of Cups, the Magician, and the Wheel of Fortune. So in the present moment, for many of you right now, something big is happening. There's a big, big change that's happening. You are manifesting something here. I do feel for many of you, and this isn't going to resonate with everyone, but someone needs to hear this. Some of you have been manifesting or trying to manifest what you want with water. Okay, so you've been maybe doing like rituals with water or spells with water, and it's actually working, is what they're telling me here with the Wheel of Fortune. So we're going to find out what this situation is that you're manifesting and creating for yourself. I do feel like this situation presently that is uh, being manifested or changing for you is a part of your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune here. For others of you, I do feel for a small percentage of you, there's either a love offer that's coming in. It's kind of subtle right now for some of you. And for others of you, there's forgiveness. It's like you've been manifesting someone to come back or someone here to bring about some form of forgiveness. So we're going to clarify that and see in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Four of Wands, the Empress, and the Three of Wands. So it looks like in the near future, for many of you, there is something here about moving forward. Things are going to grow, you know, and I do feel like this is a relationship relationship some of you are going to get married in the near future or you're going to get engaged with someone and you're going to be very happy here with the empress because you are the empress here in the near future or you could be attracting someone who is the empress there's definitely something here about moving forward within a relationship or a marriage okay so we're going to clarify that and see and of course, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. So there could be possibly a new beginning that you don't see that is coming in for you, okay, that you may not be anticipating. So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on. Let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so your challenge for this coming June, okay, is clarified by the Chariot, the Star, and the King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, possibly a Libra, a Cancer, a Pisces here, maybe a Gemini. 
So your challenge here moving forward has a lot to do with you wanting someone here to move forward with you. Deep down inside, you really want this person to move forward. You want something here. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna get specific on this wish that you have because everybody is going to be different, but there's something here, Taurus, about you wanting something it's like you really 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 want something here you want to move forward you want to you know it could be a, a goal in your job it could be a goal in your relationship and it's like you're not really telling anybody this you're kind of keeping it to yourself and that's part of your challenge right your challenge is it's like you want something but it's like you may not really know what it is that you need to do in order to get what it is that you want and that is part of your challenge but either way i do feel like this person this air sign aquarius libra gemini cancer or, um, you know, Pisces here, this person may want to talk to you about your feelings. They may want to, you know, for you to kind of open up and release how you truly feel. And you may be feeling guarded in doing that. But that's part of your challenge, right? Being able to open up so that you can actually share your ideas of what it is that you want to create with this person that you actually want to move forward with. Okay. And that's part of your challenge for the month of June. Okay. So... We're going to get into your reading. Let's clarify the recent past. Let's clarify the seven of swords. Okay, so the seven of swords uh, in reverse is clarified by the knight of pentacles, the five of swords and the sun. So in the recent past, for many of you, I'm really strongly getting there was definitely a lot of cutthroat energy. There was some sort of conflict that happened here in the recent past. The reason why this conflict happened in the past was because you either found something out or this person found something out. And there was a lot of slow movement here in the past. Something here didn't move as quick as you wanted it to. The reason why a lot of you were maybe very slow low or patient to react to the situation was because you thought it would clear itself up. You may have thought, oh, whatever, it's just going to clear itself up. Everything is going to be fine. The problem here that I see in the past, Taurus, was this person was very on and off with you. They weren't consistent and you didn't like that. And that's why you didn't move forward with this person here in the recent past is what I'm seeing. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing in the recent past. Now in the present moment, I do strongly feel there is a major change that is going to be taking place for you. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, which often represents the fixed signs in the zodiac. So Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. We're gonna clarify the Wheel of Fortune and see what this uh, major change is that's coming in that's part of your destiny in a moment. But first, I wanna clarify the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is clarified by the Temperance, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So in the present moment, for many of you, I'm really strongly getting that there is an apology that is coming in. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this person to come towards you to apologize. I am seeing a few factors here that you need to consider. The first thing is, is that this person is going to try to come and apologize to you. This Pisces, okay, so, a Sagittarius, maybe a Capricorn. I'm getting this person's going to try to come towards you they're going to try to apologize for something that they did here in the past. And you've manifested this, by the way, you've created this. Like I said, a lot of you are doing some sort of manifestation in the present moment, like you're watching um, readings, or you're watching like, there's something here about spells that you're watching or you're doing. And what this is actually doing is it's allowing you to manifest the way in which you want this relationship to kind of come back around to you. You are expecting some sort of apology. This is what you want. And it looks like you may be getting it. However, you have to be careful here because when this person does try to come back, you may be very quick to dismiss this person or you may make this person wait. And if you make this person wait and you're not open to accepting their apology, fast enough okay because everything's about timing right like you may say yeah whatever they can wait you may say that but at the end of the day if you make this person wait too long they may they might as well they they may as well or they may believe that you're not really interested in wanting to accept their apology and this is why yes you can manifest what it is that you want but you know are you going to be prepared to react when it shows up because the wheel of fortune which is what i've you know explained to aquarius in their reading was the wheel of fortune not only is about our destiny it's about timing that's why it's a part of the um 
the seasons, right? Because the seasons are within time. So there's something here that you need to be ready for. So let's find out what's this Wheel of Fortune all about for Taurus in the present moment. Wow. Wow. Your reading is intense this June coming up. All right. So the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. So in the present moment for many of you right now, there is going to be an opportunity to bring things back into balance within a relationship. It could be any relationship. doesn't have to be a romantic one. This relationship that you're attracting into your life that you want to heal is a part of your destiny. This is a part of your soul growth. This is about you learning how to heal and forgive and move forward. Because whatever the situation is that needs to be healed that's coming in, into your life is a part of your destiny okay so that's what i'm seeing here in the present moment now in the near future for you i am strongly getting there's going to be a sudden turn of events it's like very random that this happens this sudden turn or change of events has a lot to do with what you've been manifesting in the present moment now of course readings change all the time it's very dependent on how you respond how your person responds these are just energies and these energies can change but what i'm seeing here for you taurus in the near future is that you are going to be very happy with the empress here the empress is all about growth and this growth has a lot to do with the changes that are happening in the present moment in regards to your emotions okay because your challenge here for june is the moon and what does the moon represent? It represents our emotions, our deepest, most darkest emotional feelings that are coming to the surface. So a lot of you in the near future with the Empress, something here is going to finally grow. Something's going to change. You're going to be very happy and satisfied, as you can see with the Empress here. Some of you may end up pregnant here in the near future. So you need to be, um, be prepared for that if that's something that you want. So let's find out more about this happiness that you're going to experience because it looks like it's connected to some sort of relationship tell me more about the empress for taurus So the Empress is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Hangman, and the Seven of Cups. So in the near future, for many of you, I'm seeing a few things. The first thing I'm seeing is a lot of you are going to be doing your own thing. There's something here about, mm, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to do what's going to make me happy. I'm going to focus on what's going to make me happy. There's something here about someone making you wait. And this, again, is not going to resonate. I'm getting very specific messages for very specific people for your reading for this coming month which is rare to have but that's what I'm getting there's somebody here that constantly makes you wait and it's like a test here and you may say to yourself you know what whatever I'm not waiting for this I'm just going to move forward I'm going to do what makes me feel happy is what I'm seeing here there's somebody here who's watching you I'm getting a Gemini here some of you are dealing with a Gemini a Pisces here a Scorpio, this person's watching you to see how you're going to react and, and, and respond. And the reason why I feel that is because there's a bit of this, how do I say this, in your relationship or whatever relationship it is that you're dealing with, there's something here about cat and mouse cat and mouse it's like you do this to me I'm going to do this to you you do this to me I'm going to do this to you so it's a little childish here okay in the near future is what I'm seeing so you have a decision and the decision that you um, have here is am I going to allow a situation to be in this cat and mouse energy or am I going to just go my own way and focus on what's going to make me happy and that's what I see you doing and that's why the three of wands is here because the three of wands is about moving forward it's about going from this phase of my life to this phase of my life it's like I'm done with this I'm done with this like game whatever game it is that you know we've been playing I'm done with it so a lot of you are moving to the next level because you're showing the universe look I'm not interested in playing games anymore I'm not interested in this cat and mouse I'm not interested in the childish games I want somebody here who's really going to give me the solid relationship that I need and I feel like that's something that a lot of you may be planning on possibly going through here in the near future and you're actually growing from this because you're actually making yourself available to uh, a real relationship somebody here who really really wants to be with you so tell me more about this possible relationship here in the near future for Taurus so 
So the Four of Wands is clarified by the Empress. You have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So in the near future, you see you have the Empress here twice in the near future. So it's indicating to me that you're all about growth in the near future. You are going to learn that within your relationships, holding anxiety, fear, having all, you know, always guard, being guarded all the time, that actually doesn't lead to growth, Taurus. What leads to growth is going through these emotions, going through the pain, going through the trauma, experiencing it, being in it. You know, there's no point in running away from these experiences because all you're doing is you're cheating yourself from growing and learning what you need to grow in it. And that's why the three of wands is here in the near future, because you have a choice, right? You have a choice to either remain being stagnant or you have a choice of learning from these experiences and not always just getting caught up in your emotions from them, but actually applying them moving forward in your future. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, which is ultimately going to lead to the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. The new beginning can only happen once you take the experiences from the past, good or bad, and apply them moving forward. And that's what you're being called to do here in the near future, okay? So let's get some advice. What is the advice for you? The advice here for you is the tower, the ace of pentacles and the queen of wands. The biggest piece of advice for you, Taurus, is to allow things to go the way they, they need to. If there's going to be a breakup, allow it to happen. If there's going to be an argument, allow it to happen. If there's going to be some sort of confrontation, allow it to happen. Why? Because there's something to learn from this. You don't have to run away from confrontation. You don't have to run away from challenges. You don't have to run away from issues because what that does is it brings value to you. Not everything is about having or wanting what's in the physical. Sometimes we learn in life that our emotions are very much filled with prosperity is very much filled with you know the experiences that we need to grow right so you know a lot of the times in society we don't talk about how much our emotions have value our emotions do have value because they're sensors there are sensors to allow our soul to grow right so it's not always the physical things in the world that are going to bring happiness to you and abundance to you. It's also the experiences. And that's what spirit is asking you to do. Spirit is saying in order for you to be happy again and abundant and to feel, you know, this strong sense of self, there's a need for you to really, really see the opportunities in things that break down in your life that, you know, the things that don't work out. You know, the question that you need to ask yourself, Taurus, is what is really not working out in my life and where is there an opportunity within this situation? Once you can find the opportunity within the situation that's breaking down in your life, that's when you're going to be able to bring value to yourself and remain and be happy once again. OK, so this is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.